Hi friends, welcome to Spring Boot series. So in this session, I'm going to explain how you need to set your output, okay, your application logs into a file. In the real time, we will store the inside your all logs into a file only, okay. Now you can enable your console also, but in the production level, you will uh, disable your console logs and you need to generate your full logs inside into your file. How you need to enable that option, I'm going to explain in this session. Now try to see, just is nothing. Now you know already how you need to display the console. Now you're able to see here, login dot pattern dot, now dot file. When you given as a dot file, you need to give your related information, uh, which pattern you want to display and file name, okay, under which folder, under which log you want to display, dev.log, production.log, test.log. Now, here the file size also, you can enable default 10 MB. Now, if you want, you can change your file size also. Maximum size, how much you need, you can change. So, let me develop the application. So, what I can do, where is your console logging pattern? This is one, right? Now, let me copy, paste it, another project here, file logging pattern i'm giving some different name to make it clarification file logging pattern here now try to choose here go for application dot properties here you can choose the dev environment inside the dev environment you can disable your console logs if you want you can enable also okay now what you can do let me off it will i want to display console uh, as well as in the file also what you can do now you can make it as see logging dot file um, before going you need which pattern right i want to display pattern dot file now i want to display my pattern as this much information i want to display this is your pattern right now what i want i don't want this all information i want to remove it here even i don't want the package these three levels I want inside your file. Okay. Now let me give some space here. If you want, you can give the stars if you want. Here also, if you want, you can give stars. This is your pattern, your file pattern. Now you need to give your file name, right? Inside this project, you are not able to see any folder, right? Now try to see logging dot file dot name. You have a lot of options if you choose um clear on history you can read uh, max history see maximum number of days default is seven seven days it will be there after that it will delete automatically your files you see max size default as 10 mb if you want you can change this is your file name where you want to uh, save your logs this is your file path you can provide and uh, this is a total size of log backup okay now and uh, now i want to change my file name i want to give now try to see here file name i want to provide logs folder inside the logs i want to choose dev.logs okay this is my file name now this environment for the dev properties right now what i can do in the production also i will enable these two properties now try to see let me copy full go for the production okay here I'm enabling, here you can disable if you want. Now here I want prod logs, okay? Now you, you can run your application or try to observe. Now organization, now your property is running on that development environment. Now what I can do, you can run the application. Right click, run as Java application. Now try to see guys, now now this is a default Spring Boot. It is displaying your application start and right click here, refresh your project. Now see here, logs is displaying dev.logs. You are given some pattern, right? That pattern you are able to see here, right? Now this is the pattern. See, this is your logs. Now application started in 5.32 seconds, right? So what I can do, let me stop the application. Again, I'm running my application. Now try to see. Run as Java application. Uh, uh, this time application is started in how many seconds? 3.28 seconds. Now right click. 
here refresh here dev dot log uh, you can see 3.281 seconds now this time what i need let me enable the prod here production logs okay now again you can run your application now it is already started you can right click refresh it here see prod dot log here these are like a production logs okay i hope you guys are clear how you need to enable your see now not only this one now you can give logging dot file dot max history <coughs> you can give 10 days so you can enable the logs in this way i hope you guys are clear how you need to enable the logging pattern for the console and as well as your file also okay if you like this video please hit the subscribe button we'll see you in the next tutorial thank you guys